guys welcome you all to my channel is this the first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in this tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew our a shape maxi dress okay so basically this form of dress we have our a shape effects and also a maxi dress and you can make this style with any fabric of your choice your lace fabric your african prints your cutting fabric your lacquer it all depends on how you want to style this dress and one thing i noticed about this dress is the fact that this dress is basically low by you know matured women just to give them this rich mom vibes and rich auntie so one thing about this style is the fact that this style is loved by you know rich auntie vibes and it gives like this rich mom vibe so basically you can use any fabric of your choice and the amount of fabric totally depends on the size of the client you are working with so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve a maxi a shape dress i hope you guys love this style if you want me to make a tutorial on how to sew this please go ahead and put that down in the description in the comment section and I'm going to make a video on this style so what are the basic measurements required our shoulder measurements bust waist hip and our gown length so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurement our shoulder measurements is 18 18 divided by 2 we have 9 our bust measurements is 450 50 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 14.5 inches our waist is 48 48 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 14 inches our hip is 52 52 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 15 inches our gown length is 58 plus 2 inches for our sewing allowance we have 60 inches so these are the measurements required in order for you to achieve your a shape maxi dress if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please feel free to drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want me to make a video on now trainings are available both online training and physical training and all the details are going to be in the description box below so let's go ahead now and cut our fabric but before then i'm also going to say that for your maxi dress it all depends on how free you want it to be so for some people you know they want their maxi dress to be fitted around the bust area and the waist area and just a little bit free around the hip area like i said it all depends on how free you want it to be so one thing you should also take note of where you want to achieve your a shape maxi dress from the style name a shape it means you're going to have like a effect and this means that your bust area your waist area is a little bit free why for your hip area it comes like this like the a you know letter a shape so the number of inches you add to your dress totally depends on how big you want your dress to be so you can add about five inches you can add four inches you can add three inches it all depends on how big you want it to be and also do you want your bust and your waist area to be big and your hip area to also be big like i said it all depends on you and also the amount of fabric you are working with so for me now i'm going to go ahead now and add inches to my measurement so my bust measurement now is 14.3 i'm going to add three inches now i have 17.5 for my waist area i have 14 14 plus 3 i have 17 inches now for my hip area because your hip area is going to be big to give you that a shape effect i'm going to add five inches to my hip area so it can be very full at the end of the day so i'm going to have plus five i have 20 inches so these are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve your a shape maxi dress now you can rock this with any sleeve of your choice it's your regular sleeve your you know your flare sleeve you can rock it as armless it all depends on how you want to rock this style let me know if you have any question in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on now let's move to the cutting part of this tutorial 
hi guys so now we want to cut out our a-shape maxi dress now as the name implies a-shape it simply means that you are going to fold your fabric to give you like you know letter a can you see that so basically you are folding your fabric in a triangular form just to give you that ease and also to have your a-shape effect so i've gone ahead now to fold my fabric in a triangular form this is what it looks like so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and check out where you are going to have your shoulder measurements so our shoulder measurements now is eight inches go ahead and place your tape measure where you will have your shoulder measurement so our shoulder me measurement is eight inches i have it somewhere around here i will go ahead now and mark the so we've marked it you know we have our shoulder measurement somewhere around here i've gone ahead to mark it so this is where my fabric is going to start from and my fabric length so let's go ahead now and mark our shoulder measurements which is nine inches i've gone ahead now to mark our shoulder shoulder to bust i have 10 inches shoulder to bust i have 10 inches bust to waist i have nine inches now i know you might want to ask me that how did we come across all this measurement this is basically your distance calculation i have a detailed tutorial on so this is basically distance calculation I so now we have our waist go ahead and mark waist to hip nine inches we've gone ahead now to mark it i have a detailed tutorial on you know distance calculation i'm going to link it somewhere on the screen please go ahead and watch the video so we'll go ahead now and mark our bust measurements our bust measurements now we'll go ahead and mark our bust measurements which is you know you can see our bust measurements now on our waist measurements we'll mark 13 inches on the hip measurement, on the hip line, we we'll go ahead now and mark our hip measurement. So basically, this is what you have for your hip measurements. You are going to extend all the way to your gown length. So now, the next thing you're also going to do now is to connect your arm O to give you your arm O. So go ahead now and connect your arm O. Once you are done, you go ahead and mark your neckline. So for the wideness of the neckline, I'm going to make it of three and a half inches for the wideness. Why for the deepness, I'm going to make it of five inches. So once I'm done, I will connect it together to give me my round neck line on my sh shoulder slope. I'll also go ahead and mark one inch for my shoulder slope so this is basically what it looks like we're going to go ahead now and cut this out so let's go ahead and connect our waist to bust connect your waist to bust hip to waist hip to waist and you basically extend what you have on your hip line all the way to your garments once i'm done cutting it i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys, we've gone ahead now to cut out the front block. You can see what the front block looks like. So now we want to cut out the back block. All you have to do is to also go ahead and fold your fabric in a triangular shape. Place your front block on it. Once you place your front block, make sure it's straight and then you go ahead and cut it out to so give you two pieces. One piece for the front block and the other piece for the back block. So I'll go ahead now and cut this out. So guys, this is what it looks like. You can see the neckline and then the arm O. So the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and M your neckline. So you can either M the both neckline with bias or you M it with facing. Once I'm done M the neckline, I'll show you guys what next. So guys, now our A-shaped dress, the first thing, like I said, is to go ahead and M the neckline. So I've also gone ahead to M the neckline. I made use of my bias to aim it so you can make use of your bias or your facing it all depends on how you want to aim your neckline so once you are done the next thing you are basically going to do now is to go ahead and couple the shoulders together so i've gone ahead now to stitch my shoulders and this is what i have now of course you are going to attach your sleeve right that is if you want your so you go ahead and attach your sleeve if you want your a shape 
dress to have a sleeve right and you can make use of your basic sleeve your mouton sleeve your fleece sleeve there are different types of sleeves so you can just go ahead now and you know attach the kind of sleeve that you want but if you want it to be armless you just go ahead and also aim your arm or it all depends on how you want to rock it so the next thing we are going to do now this is what our a shape looks like is to go ahead now and mark the basic measurement because we want to couple this up to give us a single piece right so our bust measurement is 50 inches 50 divided by 2 we have 25 inches so we are going to place our tip measure this way and check out what we have first so we have about 27 inches why our bust is 50 inches so 50 divided by 2 we have 25 and here we have 27 inches it means that we have 2 inches extra so what you are going to do now is to divide the inches that you have as your extra into 2 equal parts right so my bust is 50 divided by 2 I'm supposed to have 25 but here I have 27 inches it means we have 2 inches extra right so divide the 2 inches into 2 equal parts we are going to have have one inch on one side and one inch on the other side so on this part now I'm going to go ahead now and mark my one inch right and I will also mark my one inch so this is basically how to couple up your dress now on the waist we have 48 inches 48 inches should give us 24 inches when you divide it into two here i have 26 inches it means that i have two inches extra i'm also going to go ahead now and divide the two inches extra into two equal parts i'm going to mark one inch on both sides i don't know can you guys see the markings it looks like the color of the chalk and the fabric are the same let me try to change the chalk a different color so i'm just trying to like you know mark it so that you guys can see the markings right i think this is better so now the next thing now is to move on to the hip area but don't forget that your hip area for your a-shaped dress are usually free so basically our hip is around 52 inches by the time you divide it into two you know but because your hip is usually free so i'm just gonna check what i have and the number of inches that we have so let's say your hip is 50 inches but however my hip is 52 inches it's means i'm going to have somewhere around 26 inches but here i have 30 inches which is about four inches extra now don't forget that i said the hip area is usually free so i'm just going to take one inch on both sides so instead of having 26 inches i'm going to have about 28 inches because of course like i said the hip area should be a bit free right so i'll just mark my one inch on both sides so you can go in with half inch it all depends on how free you want your hip area to be at the end of the day so connect your hip now to your waist and also to your butt also your bust now this is our hip line but just basically going to take it all the way down to the gown length that's basically what we want to do so just connect it all the way down to the gown length so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to basically go ahead now and stitch this by the time i stitch this up i will show you guys what it looks like so if you want to fix in a random sleeve like your basic sleeve to your a shape right you, we are making it of a basic sleeve so the first thing you are going to do is just to fold your fabric into four as you can see and then you mark your sleeve length so my sleeve length is 12 inches i've added two inches for my sewing allowance i have 24 inches sorry <laughs> my sleeve length is 12 inches i added two inches for my sewing allowance i have 14 inches for the length right now my round sleeve is 18 18 divided by 2 we have 9 plus 1 inch sewing allowance we have 10 inches now basically what you are just going to do now is to connect your sleeve this way to give you a curved shape and then you connect it to your round sleeve this is just like your basic sleeve basically so by the time you are done cutting out your basic sleeve this is what you are going to have this is basically what you are going to have you are going to have two pieces of your sleeve this way so the next thing you have to do now is just to attach this sleeve to the armhole of your dress but so this is our dress now 
and this is our sleeve so basically you are just gonna stitch your sleeve you can see this is our sleeve and this is our a-shaped dress you are basically just gonna couple this up so you're basically just going to attach your sleeve to your a-shaped dress on this part and also on the other part also this is our arm o we are also basically going to attach this sleeve to our arm o this way basically going to attach it this way so you can have an idea of what is definitely going to look like so i'll go ahead now and just couple this up and show you guys what it looks like so guys now this is what you have for your a shape you know we've gone ahead to stitch our bust measurements waist measurements and our hip measurement this is what it looks like so you can go ahead and fix in your pocket if you want yours to have a pocket now for the sleeve like i said earlier you can make use of any sleeve so here i have my regular sleeve and my belt sleeve all together but you can leave yours as a sleeveless you can fix in your regular sleeve your flay sleeve any kind of sleeve but let me know if you want me to make a tutorial on any particular sleeve please go ahead and put that down in the comment section so this is basically what our dress looks like i hope you guys enjoyed this video bye